Hello, everyone. This is AZ Hubbard. I'm just popping on right quick to do a quick rant to say that Americans, you all give up your rights too quickly. And there has to be a moment that you take to pause without just arbitrarily being a lost sheep, you know, just following what people tell you. And I'm going to tell you what happened to me today that caused me to be online today. Uh, a friend of mine was in our local hospital and I hate hospitals. So, but still, you know, that's been a friend of mine since I was a child. So I said, well, I'm going to visit this person. So I go to the hospital. Now this is a local small town hospital. Well, not too, yeah, anyway. So I go to the hospital and, um, you know, I park, I go in, you know, that you have to go through a uh, metal detector. Oh, okay. All right. No problem. I'm, I'm, you know, they're crazy people out there. I can understand that. So I go through the metal detector. Then I go to the gift shop because I wanted to, you know, pick up a gift, but I really didn't have anything. So then I see the desk. Now my friend had given me a room number, but when I got to the desk, I told the the lady what room number I wanted. She didn't verify with me who I was going to see or if the person was indeed still in that room or whatever. She wanted to know my name. I'm like, okay, why are you asking people their names to visit someone? But, you know, again, haven't been to hospital in years. Want to see my friend, want to make sure they were okay. So, you know, shame on me. I complied. I gave them my so, you know, the lady looked it up and I said, I wanted to verify that my friend was indeed still in this room. So I gave them my friend's name and they was like, no, uh, she's not in that room anymore. Um, she's been transferred to another room. Okay. And this is the room that she's in. But again, this is where Americans give up their right too much. So now I'm just visiting someone in the hospital room. This lady then proceeds to tell me, of course, you know, you want to wear the mask because they say their COVID numbers are up. But then this lady proceeds to tell me, in order for me to visit, I get to step in front of a camera to take my picture because I'm not in their system. Of course, I'm not in your system. Why do I need to take a picture for um, me to go visit a friend in the hospital when we used to just walk through different areas, you know, the emergency room, go up to the rooms or whatever. But I'm like, oh, uh, uh-uh, no, 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 hold up. <laughs> this is where AC is going to draw this line, all right? So I asked, I said, why do you need my picture? Oh, you're not in the system. I know that, you know, I don't want to be in your system. And she said, well, in case something happened, um, and we need to get in contact with your family or, you know, something happened at the hospital or something like that. I don't like, hold on for a minute. Are y'all expecting a T attack here in, in good old G borough, North Carolina? Uh, or, or when was the last time over the years and years, decades that this hospital have been here, that there's ever been an event that requires you to contact to shut down the whole hospital and contact members of people, family, because there's something happened. Absolutely zero times. So now why all of a sudden that it is mandatory in order for me to go visit my friend in the hospital that's sick, that you need my picture? I said, oh no. I said, I knew no too much about technology. I know too much about um government tracking your your uh, movements and everything like that why do you need first of all you didn't need my name to not for me to visit the person it's none of your business who i am that is that person is a guest and but you know okay i even go that far but as far as you taking my picture to put me in your system to uh track me and everything like that no oh absolutely not and this is a perfect example of us just relinquishing our rights as citizens of the united states just freely for no reason at all you know i call my friend and this is you know this is the rebel in me and i also met another rebel but i called my friend i, I was like absolutely not as a matter of fact take my name out of the system that i was even here okay so i'm leaving now 
So when I was walking out, I said, well, let me call my friend and let them know, let her know that I indeed came to visit her, um, but I will not be going upstairs because, you know, I was like, girl, you know how I am. You know, I am not giving over my information to arbitrarily to the, you know, uh, hospital just to visit somebody. I said, well, I just have to see you when you get out. You're going to be fine, girl. I'm going, I'm praying for you. You healed in the, in the name of Yeshua. Okay. So you healed. But as I was walking out and I was talking to my friend, this man, I, I noticed the man and his, I guess oops, the lady that he was with, I would assume it was his wife. When I was walking in, she went in, but he wouldn't go. He, you know, he was coming, he'd come out of the car. But when I was walking out of the hospital, he was there. And I, as I was talking to my friend, you know, he was like, ma'am, 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 ma'am. I was like, look, girl, let me call you back. <clears throat> so I said, yes. And he said, you didn't go, you didn't give, take a picture either. I said, no. He said, I didn't either. I said, that's, I said, I know too much about technology. I know too much about uh, information um, being distributed. They just had a breach of everybody's social security number in the United States, just about of America. Um, no, you don't need my information. No, you don't need to track where I'm at at any given time. It's bad enough. These cell phones track you everywhere you go. And, you know, you have cameras, you know, who was in the hospital. I have ID on me. I went through the metal detector or whatever. I could even see me having to sign in a log in when I go up and come down. But you taking my picture to go into your system so you can monitor me. And I'm not even a, a patient here. Absolutely, positively not. And for those of you that you know this might be a common thing at hospitals i don't know i don't go to hospitals i know the only time i you know go to uh a hospital is I, it's been years my i just don't know okay but there's certain information you're not going to get from me especially if i'm not a patient i am a visitor and americans need to stop relinquishing their rights so quickly you know oh i just need your picture and your information no the answer is absolutely not do you understand that they are tracking you next thing you know they're shutting you down or whatever absolutely positively not but this is going to be a short video. I just wanted to come on here and say, do not comply. Okay. Do not comply because the more that people just, oh, okay, take my picture, know who I am, monitor me. It, the more it's going to, they're, they're going to do it. They keep pushing the line and pushing the line and pushing the line and pushing the line. And next thing you know, there's no line. And then you're, you're, you're stuck in an area because you keep complying. You are giving up your rights so freely, like it's absolutely nothing. Now, I'm sure some people are going to be on this video saying, hey, Z, you just taking things out of context. Absolutely, I am not. I am not. You know, I am that girl that go into the grocery store, and I am not going to self-check out. I'm not self-checking out anywhere because, number one, you know, not only are you being, when you're scanning things, they're scanning your face which you don't might not realize, okay? But number two, I don't work there. Number three, you're not giving me a discount. I work hard. I'm not working hard to go pay for nothing. I'm, I need a cashier. And that's, you know, it's just inch by inch by inch. You're being monitored. You're giving up your rights. You are just, you know, going along, going along, you know, take this, take this shot here you know we've done no research um <clears throat> a person can give it to you um in a drive-thru you know every it's for everybody and everybody just walk along you know walk along <laughs> america please wake up please wake up americans because if you continue to relinquish your rights as american citizens you're going to wake up and wonder what happened. When did this happen? And how did this happen? And it's been happening little by little, inch by inch every day. A little here, a little there, just creeping. Just a little bit, just a little bit more. Well, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And next thing you know, you're confined 
everywhere you move, everywhere you touch, everywhere you go, you're being tracked and monitored and they know your whole life and they can govern everything, all of your movements. And, you know, the Constitution Bill of Rights has no meaning because you have willingly relinquished all of your rights because you want to go along to get along. Wake up, America. Anyway, you all have a very blessed day. This is my rant. And um, for those of you who feel the same way I do, stand strong. For those of you that might not have thought about this, um, think about it and stand up and just say no. Because if you continue to say no, they're not going to keep doing it. All right? Okay. Bye.